Hello, good morning. My name is Violet. I'm one of the nurses. Um, I want to lecture us, or rather, we want to teach ourselves about having PHQ9 in an OSCE setting in this pandemic. So you'll just see how it goes. I want to give a shout out to my friends helping me to do this video. Francis, I'm humbled. CG, I'm humbled. Amina, I'm grateful. And Beatrice, thank you so much. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to encourage me to do more videos for you. Okay, so thank you very much. You'll be giving five complete minutes in an assessment station that five minutes will give you a scenario read it digest it and understand what they want you to do after which you will be given this just to guide you on lecturing the patient or educating the patient then you will be given the phq9 is all scored out for you all you need to do is to pick three questions and ask the patient especially the ones the patient is scoring three or two please don't ask all of them because your time is counting after which you will be giving your assessment where you have to record your patient temperature blood pressure bp and that's all so just watch this video and get all the details you need to get it's a community setting and remember to ask for allergy all right let's get started I approach my sin, I see my sin is safe to approach, nothing to make me fall. I provide privacy for my patients and I do my hand hygiene according to the WHO standard. Comes from right palm over left dosum, vice versa, fingers into legs, fingers into locks, fingers into lock, rotation of the fall, rotation of the fall, tips to the finger, tips to the finger, and my wrist. So my hands are clean, I can now approach my patient. Hello, lovely, hi. My name is Violet, I'm one of the community nurses. Please, could you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Yeah, I'm Haley Brooke. All right. Okay, and my date of birth is 15th of the 2nd, 1970. Oh, that's beautiful, Haley. Haley, please, could you confirm to me if you have any allergies at all to food, drug, lattes, or has it, please? Yeah, I'm allergic to penicillin. Oh, and what happens when you take penicillin? It's anaphylaxis, actually. All right, so, Haley, we are all away, and nobody will give you anything that contains penicillin okay okay all right Hallie. the reason i'm here this morning is because um i actually want to assess your mood mm -hmm. hope it's a convenient time for you yeah i, I think i'm okay you don't need to use the washroom uh, no not all really. right so that's beautiful Hallie. Hallie, but before we do that i'd like to ask you could mm -hmm. you tell me what brought you to the community care home please actually i was in the hospital for the first few weeks treating for my urinary infection and I was living with my la a wife. She just passed away, so oh, there is not none up there. Bless you, bless you. Yeah, I just came up here. That's why. Oh, bless yeah. you, Harley. Anyway, Harley, we're here to help you. Okay. Yeah. Every one of us will make sure you come out of this. Okay. okay. All right, Harley. Are you happy for me to continue, please? Yes. yes. I've secured your privacy. Okay. okay. All right, Harley. I'll be staying by you. Hope you don't mind. Uh, it's okay. All right. I'll just ask you some questions, okay? That yeah. have already been circled out, okay? Yeah. Um, Harley, um, feeling, um, you are feeling tired or having little energy nearly every day? Actually, I am. Actually, I am. Oh. I am scared about my oh. condition and my loneliness and everything. I'm a bit oh, scary. Hi. Yeah. Hi, don't worry, okay? We're here to help you, okay? Okay. All right. Hi, can you also confirm to me that you're feeling bad about yourself? Or that you're feeling you let your family down nearly every day? Yes, actually, I am. I am. I just feel loneliness after my wife passed away. So, I nearly... Every day I just feel like that. Oh, honey. Yeah, I'm just down. Oh, honey. Mm -hmm. So sorry about that, okay? Don't worry, we're here to help you, okay? Yeah. All right, Ali. And finally, you have trouble concentrating on things? I like do. reading the newspapers? I do, I do. I can't concentrate anything. I feel very lazy. And I don't find any interest in any, doing anything, actually. Okay, Ali. If that be the case, are you happy for us to refer you to the psychotherapy? It will help you, you know? Make you happy, do things, you know, engage in activities that will make you happy. Yes. Are you happy for that? I don't know, really. Do you think will that be helpful for yes, me? Yes, Hani, it's going to help you, darling. It's going to okay. help you. Then I'll go for that. All right, yeah. Hani. Yeah. Hani, you just give me a second, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll just come or sum up your scores and get back to you. Yeah. You don't mind, all right? Yeah, that's okay. All right, guys. So you have to sum up the total. That's the only thing you get to do. For the zero, there's no. And one, one, one. So the patient has a three in this column. Two, two. Patient has four in this column three three the patient has nine in this column so you have to sum them together nine plus four is 13 and 13 plus three is sustained all right Ali darling we're having a total score of 16 okay mm -hmm. um Ali, to be mm -hmm. honest with you 
if you have a total score of 16, we'll call that major depression, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, the treatment recommendation is that we'll give you an antidepressant and we'll refer you to a psychotherapy. So are you happy to be referred to Darlene? Yeah, if it's helpful, I'll go for that. All right, yeah. all right, Darlene, that will be helpful, okay? okay. And Ali, are you happy for me to do the next observation for you, please? Yes, please. All, all right. right, thank you so much. I'll do my hand like you. I said so, please, could you confirm to me my equipment was clean and well calibrated for use? Yeah, it is. It all is right. Good. After doing my hand hygiene, I'll put on my apron, I'll put on my gloves, and I'll go back to my patients. All right, Hallie, please can you confirm to me you've never had surgeries in your left hand? Please. No, no. Okay, because so. I can see there's no inflammation and there's no fistula. I'm happy to use your left hand if you don't mind, darling. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll tie a cuff two to three centimeters away from your cubicle fossa. You'll feel some slight pain, Hallie. But don't worry, it will just pass on now, okay? Yeah. All right, I've gotten your blood pressure. Hallie, please can I use your right hand for your pulse, please? I'll put my two fingers on the radio pulse and take it for two minutes but in brief sense i'll be taking it for one minute the other one minute is to count for the respiration after which harry can you confirm to me you have no hearing aids on darling no, no all right beautiful because i can assess your ear and i see that there are no discharges from your ear so i'm happy to use your ear for your temperature i hope you don't mind Ali. Mm, no, all right no. thank you so i'm taking your temperature all right Ali, i'll just be back okay mm -hmm. i take off my apron and my glove i put in the clinical waste bin i do my hand hygiene and i document the findings for my patients Okay, you can use the observations that are on the table. Okay, thank you. Remember to write the year, the date, and the time. The temperature is 37. Remember to follow the lane. 37, you take it, and this is it. The patient is having a pulse of 90. Remember, is adult. The respiration is 20 and the BP is 130 over 18. Okay, so that's all. Remember to put your initials, okay? All right, so I'm ready. All right, Harley, I'm back. Mm -hmm. All right, Harley, I'm happy to tell you your vital signs are good, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, darling, Harley, I'll just ask you some few questions if you don't mind, okay? Yeah. Harley, can you tell me if you comply with your medication, please? Well, today I was taking something for my blood pressure, but nowadays I don't. I, I, as I said before, I'm not interested in doing things. Sometimes I miss my medication something, yeah. All right, Harley, please, I have to beg you, okay? Mm -hmm. I know it's not easy to take our medications, but, you know, mm -hmm. your wife would have wanted you to take all your medications, okay? Yeah. So please take all your medication because it's going to help you get better, darling, okay? Yeah, course, all right, so Harley. Okay. Harley, how do you get along with activities of daily living, please? Uh, actually, I don't have any problem with my mobility, but still, I feel very little interest in doing things. Otherwise, I'm okay. I'm okay. okay. Um, um, Harley... Do you mind if we, you know, get you with other patients to do some activities in the care home? Are you happy for that, yeah, please? Yeah, maybe I'll think about that. Okay, yeah. Hallie. That would be nice, okay? okay? And Hallie, do you sleep well? Yeah, not really. It's been a few weeks. I don't sleep that much very well. Okay, yeah. I will scale this with the doctor, okay? So yeah. we could give you some drugs to help you sleep, okay? okay. And Hallie, how's your toileting, please? Uh, it's all well. It's good. It's okay. Good. All right. That's good, Hallie. And Hallie, do you smoke or drink, please? Actually, I do smoke. I do smoke. Oh, um, so how many do you smoke a day? Maybe 15 cigarettes in a day. Oh, Hallie, do you consider quitting, darling? It's all your choice, you know? Maybe, maybe I'll think about that. All Can right. you help me? Yes. Yes, it's going to help you a lot. And you know what? We have a smoking cessation unit in the hospital. So don't guide you and help you to smoke. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So are you happy for me to refer yes, you, Hallie? Yes, I'll, I'll go for that. Okay, yeah. so that's beautiful. So Hallie, I'll be referring you to the smoking cessation unit, okay? Yeah. Um, Hallie, do you have anything you'd like to tell me? Are you breathing well? Are you... Uh, do you have temperature spikes? No, really. Actually, I'm all right at the moment. Okay, yeah. so that's beautiful. So, Hallie, I'm just going to educate you, okay? Mm -hmm. Try to eat, okay? Mm -hmm. No matter what, it's not easy, but thank God we're referring you to the psychotherapy, okay? Mm -hmm. Try to eat what you love, and we'll help you and guide you to do that, okay? Yeah. Take a long sleep. Be happy with yourself, okay, darling? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and maintain a good hand hygiene, okay? okay? All right, Hallie. Thank you so much for your time, Hallie. I truly appreciate it, okay? Yeah. All right, Hallie. If you need anything, don't forget to give us a shout-out, okay? Yeah. Or we'll just come okay. to attend to you. So, all right, Hallie. Yeah. All right. Um, since I'm done with the patient, I'm going to do my hand hygiene. 
after doing my hand hygiene, I'll open the curtains and the windows because I'm done with the procedures and I'll leave my patient. Okay. Now you have three more minutes. If you want, you can just revise your assessment and if you want, you can verbalize anything. Okay. Well, I think I've done everything I need to be done. So I'm happy to stop. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to pop up any more questions you have or any more videos you want us to do for you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That will really encourage me. So thank you very much for watching. Success in your own skills. Bye.